This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I remove the Shift plus R hotkey from the BPR render button? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is referring to the hotkey that's assigned to this BPR button right here. So if you hover over this button, you're going to see it's going to give you the hotkey of Shift plus R. So let's say you accidentally hit this hotkey when you're working in ZBrush. So you come over and be sculpting on something, then accidentally hit Shift plus R, and now it's going to throw you out of that work mode and render with BPR. So you want to come through and you want to disable this hotkey. Well, normally, if you come across a button with a hotkey, you can hold down Control plus Alt and then click on that button, and you'll see up the top that it says if you press Delete, it'll remove the custom assignment. Well, if you try to press Delete with this hotkey here, you're going to get an error that this is a standard hotkey and cannot be deleted. So inside of ZBrush, there are some hotkeys that cannot be modified. So how can I solve this problem where I just don't want Shift-R to no longer render with BPR because I keep hitting it all the time? So to solve this, you just need to assign that Shift plus R hotkey to something else. So one thing that may be good to assign this hotkey to is this XYZ rotate on all axis button here. And so this is usually kept on by default when you're sculpting in ZBrush. Some people will use this rotate on Y, but for most things you're probably in this XYZ mode. So if you come over this button and now press Control plus Alt and then click, and now you can assign a new hotkey to this. Now I'm just gonna click that Shift plus R and now this is going to set Shift R to rotate on all axis. So since this is already on, if I'm working on my model now and I hit Shift R, you're not going to see any difference. So it's going to no longer render with BPR because that Shift plus R hotkey assignment has now been set to this rotate on all axis. And this will allow you now to work. And if you accidentally hit Shift plus R, it's no longer going to render with BPR. So that process again is just to assign the keyboard press you're accidentally clicking to something in ZBrush that's usually on by default. And then that will override that standard hotkey and disable its original function. Now after you have the hotkey stored like so, you wanna make sure you save this out. So you can come up to the preferences tab up here. You can open up this hotkey area. You can do a store, which will store this as a startup hotkey. Or you could also just do a save. So I'm just gonna do a save quick here. And I'm just going to save this out as hotkeys and just click that quick. Now, this question also had some additional questions that were kind of associated with it, asking about what is inside of this hotkey file. So I'm just going to pull open this hotkey file here quick. And in here, you'll see after I save this, you can see there is this transform rotation XYZ, and there's this number 370, and it's telling me it's assigned a shift plus R. So this is the new hotkey I just assigned to that XYZ rotation over there. So in this hotkey file, it's broken into these scripting items. So the first part of this is the location of the button inside of ZBrush. So you can see transform, rotate, XYZ. So if I go back into ZBrush and I hover over this XYZ button, and now I hold control, you're gonna see that in this description here, it says the button path is transform, rotate, XYZ. So that is what that information is pulling from inside of that hotkey file. Now, in addition to that first part here, you also have this number. So what does this number mean? So this number was associated with the keyboard press that was applied when you assigned the hotkey. So Shift plus R equals 370. Well, how do you go by finding out what these number values are to say, let's say you want to come through here and just add your own hotkeys through this hotkey file? Well, if you navigate to that Preferences again, and you go to the Utilities tab here, in here there is a slider that, if you hover over it, is called View Keyboard Status. So this number here is going to display whatever last hotkey you've pressed on your keyboard. So I'm going to just dock this to the side quick, so I'm coming to the top and grab this, and grab it over the side here, just so I can see it. So if you press any key on your keyboard, so if I hold down Control, you're going to see it's going to update this value here. So if I Control, if I Control plus Alt, if I can Alt plus Shift. So you can see as I press different hotkeys on my keyboard, this value is going to change. So if you want to know what kind of assignment to assign here, so let's say this XYZ was set to that Shift plus R, let's say I want this to be Shift plus Y, I can hold down Shift, press Y, and you see now the value for Shift plus Y is 377. 
Then I can go back to that notepad file here, and I can change this value to 377. And just to remind myself, I'm gonna change this to Shift plus Y. And now I can save this. Now if I go back to ZBrush, and I go to the Preferences, go to Hotkey, and I go to Load. Now select that Hotkey file again and open it back up. And now if I hover over this XYZ thing here, you'll see it is now set to Shift plus Y. So that is what those number values are equaling inside the hotkey file. Now in addition to these really short numbers like these, you also have these really long numbers in here. Now these longer numbers are tagged with this pop-up plus a value here. And these are automatically generated when you assign the custom third hotkey for a brush preset. So if you come back to ZBrush and you press B on your keyboard, which will open up your brush palette, then you can isolate by a letter. So if I isolate by the letter S, after you do that second key press here, you can see that all these brushes have another value assigned to them. So if you wanted the smooth brush, it would be BSM. Well, let's say I didn't want this to be BSM, I wanted it to be BSS. So to change this third value, we hit Control and Alt and then click. And this will now tell you you can assign a custom hotkey here. So I can change this to S now. You can see it's already assigned to another interface item, so at this point I'm just gonna hit OK. And now if I hit B on my keyboard, isolate by letter S, you'll see that smooth is now set to S, and if you hover over this, you can see it's telling me that the hotkey for this is pop-up plus S. So that is all those large numbers are doing, it's just setting a automatic value that corresponds to the third button press if you're using the brush hotkeys. So now if I save this out in preferences and just save this out again to that hotkey file here, and now open it back up, you're gonna see that the smooth option here has been set to that pop-up plus S, and then this is the number value for it. So that is all these pop-up ones are doing, and then anything that has these smaller numbers, you're gonna be able to find by using that preferences, and then utilities, and then view keyboard status slider right here. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.